thanks for joining me again. I'm just going to use the large run rats and hack, and this is just clean water, clean water going over 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. And this is raw sienna with just a touch of alizarin crimson. A little bit more, reloading the brush, working my way down the page. A bit more back up the top there. And then just clean the brush. And I'm just going to put a bit of ultramarine. Bit of Payne's grey on there as well, just dipping the tips in the water just to loosen everything up a bit. Alizarin crimson and Payne's grey. There's a little hair fell off there, but I'm gonna oh, I might as well just shove it over while I'm there. Just putting a bit of colour in the land below, reflecting it from the sky. Um, let's put a little bit of cloud up there, a little bit of A few more clouds using a tissue. But it's quite a dirty tissue so it's not coming off very much. And the paper's stretched so I'm just going to pull it tight so it's a flat surface to work with again. Right, next thing we're going to do, I'm going to put in the distant land. Um, so I don't, want to, I don't want it too strong, fairly light, light in tone, but using the same colours I've just done with the sky. Um, we're up there somewhere. Right up. Sort of come down there like that a little bit. In front of that, I'm just going to put a few trees. So I'm going to go lemon yellow, Payne's grey, a bit of ultramarine. And I'm just using the corner of the brush, just flicking it up there just to create a tree line. Same on this side, just flicking the corner up. So I'm going to go on that then. Clean the brush, take the excess off on the tea towel, so a bit of raw sienna. We have some, some land coming down here. Look at that, got a few more trees. Back into the ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey. These ones look a bit stronger. Bit of lemon yellow. Clean the brush a bit. Lemon yellow down here. Just creating a lighter area there. Take my little piece of card. 
just scrape out a few little buildings. So I've just got the roof there. And then this is the, this is the wall. And then another one. And the next one. Pop a little chimney in there as well. Let's do a bigger one there. Let's go switch it, switch it round so that it, Big roof on there, big house. And you pull down, pull down the side, and it's just pop that. And a little bit more over there. And one next to it. And just a few little. Telegraph poles running through. Just one more little house down here, I think. Right, back down, so it's raw sienna. It's about there. And then down below we've got some... I'm just going to pull this, it's still slightly stretched, so I'm just going to pull that. Pull it flat, so it's tight, flat against the earth. Uh, that against the board. Let's go. Lemon yellow. Bit of ultramarine. And what I might do is just this is burnt umber. Ultramarine and down here, there's a few more. This needs to be dry, really. It's too wet. That's all that needs. It doesn't have to be bone dry, as long as it's a bit drier, just so it contrasts because I'm thicker. See the difference now. There's a sort of I haven't defined it very well to be honest, but it's like a little river in the foreground. So you can't see it very much. It's very strong that red, you have to be careful. It's clean the brush, it's a bit too strong that was. flat brush here, just getting on a dark colour, I'm just going to put in some fence posts, just to um, put them in with your finger now there, but it's nice and strong. a path or something because it's, it's, it's all a bit I'm just giving light red ultramarine
Just a little bit of umber it's from a rain. It might be dry now. It's a uh, yeah, a bit darker than that. Just tufts of grass growing in there. I do it dry on the paper, but yeah, I'm not too happy with that. Switch to the rigger. See if it looks any better with a few twigs and branches. Got some up there, just Do with a little figure or something just to give it a give it a focal point. Let's just do some more walking up over there. It's a bit bigger than I was trying to do actually. I don't like that. I'm just gonna rub that out with a tissue. Let's try it again. It's going to be smaller. Let's do it like a, a couple walking. Um, looking a bit white in those buildings, so let's just do a very it's a very watered down sort of raw sienna in colour. It's looking like a raw sienna type roof. A bit nicer than that. Eh? Let's see what we I think I'm nearly there. Some birds in the sky. And I'm going to call that one finished, I think. Just pop my name in the corner. Right, let's have a closer look at that, see what it looks like. This is what our finished picture looks like. Background raw sienna, lizard and crimson, creating that sort of tanny sort of look. And then ultramarine, Payne's grey for some of the darker clouds. Um, and then the distant hills, putting using the same colouring, see how it pushes it right back, right far back onto the horizon. These far trees as well, not very strong tone. Again, that helps push it right back. Same on the other side. And you can see the difference, slightly stronger mix here as you come into the foreground, creating the effect of the closer towards us. And then in that sort of dark, shadowy area of these trees, I've used the car just to scrape out these buildings. And these little pole, telegraph poles and wires and stuff like this, it's, it's just scrapings really, it could be anything. Just makes it look as if there's something going on there, a bit of activity. Yeah, let me make sure rigger work here with the twigs and a few little fence posts scraped out with a fingernail coming down this left hand side. Sort of windy path sweeping its way round right to these trees, our little couple there, and then off into the yonder. Well, I'd be like that. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Keep practicing and I'll see you in soon.